out there uh, around some, it looks like some dogs and some residents, some actually enjoying what's going on with this winter weather out there. Natalie, uh, what do you have for us right now? Looks like everyone's kind of enjoying this uh, winter snow where you're at in the park. Yeah, so right now I'm at Buffalo Bayou Park. This is a pretty centralized location here in Houston. You can see a glimpse of the skyline. You can see some people taking a walk. Right now the sun is out, so a lot of the snow, the ice, the sleet is melting a little bit. So it's actually not as intense as it was this morning when we woke up. But as you saw over here, there's some people tons of them all around the park that have brought out cardboard boxes, laundry baskets, and they're actually sliding down these hills. You can see not a ton of uh, snow or ice left, but they're really trying mm -hmm. to make the most out of it here. For so many of these people, Daytona, they've lived here their entire lives. They've never seen anything like this. So for those folks who are watching, who are in the Northeast and places like Chicago, this looks like nothing, but it is just crazy here. And uh, for so many people also, they've lost power. They have low water pressure. So it's come with a lot of issues. So this right here is sort of the fun, more positive side of it. People are kind right. of enjoying it and trying to make the most out of it. But there are some true, really hard to swallow issues right now because there are so many elderly folk, vulnerable folk that are trying to look for a warm place to shelter right now, Daytona. Yeah, no, I was, uh, you've been on it all day today. We're talking about those power outages. We're talking about these low temperatures, you know, five degrees, they were saying in that press conference. That's a historic low. That's the coldest it's ever been in Texas. And then I saw that some of those warming centers are at capacity right now. So what is the city doing to prepare for something that's going to be going into the night? Well, and that's one of the biggest concerns mm -hmm. that we've had. Yesterday, I was over there by the George R. Brown Convention Center. It's one of our largest convention centers. Anytime there's any sort of big conference in town, that's where it is. At capacity, 600 people. And yesterday, they had about 300 to 500 later on in the evening. The overflow actually went over to Lakewood Church, which is Joel Osteen's church. And they were taking in just dozens and dozens of people. A lot of those folks are homeless, but now we've had outages. For example, me and myself, I haven't had power since 2 a.m. And mm. that's just, you know, one example of how so many people here are dealing with 15, 16 plus hours of no power. And when you don't have power, you don't have heat. It also means it gets very cold inside your house. So mm -hmm. people are really now scrambling because we only probably have about an hour left of sun. So people are now trying to figure out alternative routes where to go, where to stay, where to bring their pets right now. So a, a lot of scrambling right now from our officials, from people here trying to figure out their own plans here. So very, very dire situation. I know this this right now looks like a lot of fun, but I think once the sun sets, it's going to be a, a much different story because a lot of this ice, this melted snow, is going to turn into black ice, and that's going to be very dangerous for drivers trying to move about. I know Daytona. you're so you're so right. It's amazing to see people out and about behind you. Hopefully they have safe routes home. Uh, you were talking about road conditions a little bit right there. Has that been an issue in Houston, Texas? Just last week there was that horrible crash in Dallas specifically because of icy roads. So are they concerned about the same thing in Houston? They certainly are, Daytona, and the reason is that folks here, the drivers here, they're just not used to maneuvering in those conditions. We never see this. The cars and, you know, they may not be all-wheel drives, the, the roads may not be salted enough, and they just mm -hmm. don't really know how to maneuver it. So the biggest piece of advice that all the officials, our mayor, our county judge is asking people to do is to stay off the roads. I mean, that is the best way that we can avoid any sort of circumstances like we had, like we'd seen in Fort Worth last week, as you mentioned. But the best thing that we can do is just ask people to stay off the roads, especially for those overpasses, those bridges. Those are the first to freeze over. Um, some of the smaller roads right now, a lot of the snow, as I mentioned earlier, has melted so you can actually see the ground. But once it gets dark, it's a whole nother ball game because you can it's going to be really hard to tell how slippery it is and just how um, sleek the roads can be when you're driving out and about. Right. Uh, well, Daytona. Fox 26 is uh, Natalie He out there in Houston, Texas. I'm happy to see some people enjoying the weather out there, but you stay safe. Everyone stay safe out there. Uh, maybe we'll talk to you a little bit later tonight as things kind of cool off and, and the sun goes down. You made a great point there. All right. Of course. Thank you so much. 
And again, we're going to continue to give you these updates from across the country as inclement weather is hitting everywhere, not just Texas, but uh, in Seattle, there's been some wild, wild snowstorms, weather that they haven't seen in a really long time. Over the past two weeks, we've been, we've been seeing these snowstorms.